Hi, uh, we're looking at question two now from the January 2010 BY1 paper. Uh, this question number two is worth six marks and uh, it's uh, another table uh, question where you have to fill in the blanks. Um, this is all to do with uh, cell structure and organelles. Okay, so it says the table below describes structural features and functions of some of the organelles found in eukaryotic cells. All right, so that's important to, to note that it's eukaryotic cells. Okay, so you need to actually complete uh, the table there. Uh, so let's look at uh, the first row. You've got the nucleus as the organelle. Uh, the structural feature, well, it's got their nucleolus. Now, the nucleolus is a, is a sort of dark stained region within the nucleus. Okay, so uh, the, the nucleolus is very obvious. Uh, in uh, electron micrographs of uh, the cell. And uh, the third column there is uh, the function of the feature, and that's relating to the structural feature. Uh, so what is the function of the nucleolus? It's the region, really, where uh, ribosomes um, are manufactured uh, in the nucleus. Okay, so there's the answer there, the manufacture of ribosomes. Uh, if we look at the uh, second uh, row, uh, all we've got now is a structural feature listed there. And the feature is in a membrane folded into uh, Christi. Um, now, there's only one organelle that uh, has this highly folded in a membrane called a Christi, uh, and that's the mitochondria. Uh, so the, the organelle is actually called the mitochondria. Uh, so what would be the function of this uh, folded in a Christie? Uh, well, a number of functions of it. Uh, basically, it increases the surface area inside uh, the mitochondria uh, for uh, enzyme attachments. Okay, It's where um, the reactions of aerobic respiration occur. So it's the, it's the region of the mitochondria where uh, ATP uh, is actually synthesized. Okay, so I've typed in the answer there, it's mitochondrion, and uh, increased the surface area for ATP synthesis. Okay, moving on to the uh, the next row then. Uh, we're given the structural feature, a vesicle containing hydrolytic enzymes, and the function of the feature is uh, cell lysis. Okay, so there's only one organelle really that contains hydrolytic enzymes and uh, that would be the lysosome. Okay, so there we have the uh, lysosome. Uh, lastly then, uh, we're given the organelle. Uh, the organelle is the Golgi body. Uh, structural feature of the Golgi is very characteristic features of the Golgi. It really contains um, a stack of uh, flattened uh, sacs. Now those, those flattened sacs are often called cisterni. All right, and they sort of stack on top of each other. Uh, very characteristic uh, image uh, under the electron microscope. Uh, so what are the functions of the uh, the features then, the function of these uh, cisterni? Uh, a number of features, basically they uh, can modify proteins. Uh, for example, you can get sugar residues being attached to the protein. Um, you can actually get then the protein being packaged into a vesicle and transported uh, out of the cell. All right, so there's a number of functions that you can actually put in there. Okay then, so that's the uh, the answer in, a stack of uh, cisterni for the structural feature and the function I've just decided to put uh, there, modification of proteins. Okay, that uh, that completes question two.